There's literally pawns inside a building. We are at ATM. That's where it all goes down. Hey, what's hey up, everybody? <laughs> so we got Wade here, and he's gonna show us all around. Right. Camera lighting, camera light. There she is. What is going on, girls? Welcome back to another video here. Today, we are at Aqualand. There's literally pawns inside a building. Just look at them. They're everywhere. Another one over here. Another one over there. A bino turtle right there, and uh, many, many fish right there. Another pond over here, and uh, one behind me here. That's actually an African cichlid pond. Let me show you. So there's koi fish down in there, but there's also a blood parrot right there. There's the blood parrot down there, and if you look really closely, all these little holes, African cichlids actually live in them. Although I can't find any right now. I know they're in here. Big old koi fish pond over here. This is the biggest pond inside. But uh, just amazing stuff. Look at all this stuff being sent to the house for the pond build. This is just extra stuff we're gonna make videos with. So not only the stuff for the build is being shipped, but other stuff for us to make videos later on is being shipped as well. Just giving you a quick tour here before we head to Vegas. Our flight is in like 45 minutes. We're heading to Vegas, and we're gonna go hang out with the people that made this tank right here. And I said the people because I didn't want to spoil it yet. That tank look familiar? Does that logo look familiar? It's on Animal Planet. Greg, whose tank was this? Dwight Howard. Dwight Howard. Superman played for the Houston Rockets, and when he got traded, he left the tank, and I got a call from the realtor saying, would you like to get it? And I said, absolutely. So this was $10,000, but it was probably $30,000 for the, our buddies over at uh, Tanked build a form. Oh, spoiled it. Oh. So Greg just told you we're heading over to Tanked Warehouse. So we are going to visit Brett and Wade that built this tank and many others for many celebrities. Uh, and that is today's goal, heading to Vegas. And we're gonna meet up with Brian Barchuk as well, right? No, Brian can't make it. Weather? Weather, he's stuck Weather. in Detroit. And then we'll be at Brian's eventually, uh, probably the next day, right? Next day so at many, Brian's. Just videos after videos. So who is this, Greg? Uh, that is our Asian water monitor that we got from our friend Jay at Prehistoric Pets and he has literally doubled in size since we've got him. He's just super cool, he likes to chill out in the water. He eats a mouse every other day. Hey Greg, did you mention um, that you might be getting something inside this place that you need to get rid of this tank for? Yes, we are going to be making this into a new Aqualand Zoo and I don't think I'm gonna have this anymore. You know exactly who to get that to, or I'll buy it, but. Logan Paul? No. <laughs> <laughs> No, but if Greg ends up getting rid of this thing, this beast of a tank right here, just know, I'm buying it. Look at that, look at that face. He is really ready to eat. I'm trying to go wow, through the, the is... dinosaur at this point. So this is tilapia, huh? Mm -hmm. Trying to mix it up a little bit. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's sick. Yeah, he definitely enjoys fish more than mice. Yeah. It's just like uh, Jay sense. feeds them. Jay feeds them like chicken and yeah. stuff like that. Whenever we have you know, fish that pass away. Oh. I love how he jumps. Yeah. Very aggressive. Holy moly. So cool though. I love it. And we got this from Jay Prehistoric Pets and this is my first, this is my first real big lizard that I've ever had. Here buddy. This is Woody. He is Aqualand's newest mascot and we're gonna go to Tank to get them to build him a tank for this. Check this guy out. Oh my goodness. Look at all the fish on it. What are those fish? Uh, they're just uh, Little, comets, uh, yeah. black comets. And uh, they are, uh, it, you know, he can pick them off whenever he's hungry. Yeah. But he's, That's so, crazy. Used, he's so used to eating dead fish, I think yeah. he just prefers that. So, But you feed him chicken, right? We feed him chicken, we feed him tilapia. We, he eats snails. Uh, he won't eat the fish, though. I don't think he's accustomed to it. He's not. The live stuff, he doesn't, doesn't There's eat There's comets much. in there. There's a couple bluegills that we caught outside in there. Yeah. But he hasn't eaten any of those. I love how they hide underneath them. Yeah, okay. they use them as a, if it's a so structure, is, but low-key you'll eat them. This is a 75 pound, 75 year alligator snapping turtle that I got at Loggerhead Acres in Missouri. And so every year it grows it. a pound. What's that? Every year it grows a pound. About that, it's about right, but they they rescued it from the turtle soup industry about 20 years ago. So this guy's been in captivity for 20 years, and uh, that's 20 more years of his life that he wouldn't have had if he was- He would have uh, been turtle soup. He would have been turtle soup. So that's a common? It's a common snapping turtle, yeah. And the other one that we just showed, now that was 75 pounds. And man, do they smell. <laughs> Gosh. <laughs> hey. How cold are your hands? It's fine. No the gasket came it undone. Hey, Paul, you're hit by a Dude, it's freezing. 
I'm not like I'm not liking this weather. It's cold out here. Thank God for the PC hoodie. Hey, top link in the description. Hey, hey, and just like that, there goes our taxi cab driver. And Greg, we are at ATM. So this is the one you made? Yeah, look at that. All the all the koi fish in here. They got the stacked slate urns. It's pretty deep. Oh, there's turtles. Yeah. Yep. They got this. this is a cool fish. You know what they made this? They yeah, they did. Because this, this is acrylic, yeah. Yeah, beautiful koi. Look at the plants. I mean, and this is a desert. It gets to 120. Look at the size of that koi. Holy moly. Let's see if he likes it. Oh, the water's freezing in here now. I swear to you, I remember seeing this on TV. This is a fish tank. Look at the headlights. It has water in it with the bubbler, and there's legit, like, look at that little cow nose uh, puffer. Gumu hiki hiki eye. Gumu hiki hiki eye. Oh, humu. Nice. Don't never heard of that. Cool looking fish though, and uh, that's a, that's an aquarium. Super dope aquarium right here, right next to the car. Love that one. Look at all these saltwater tanks. Now salt water, something I myself have never gotten into, but maybe one day, check this out. That's a fish. A little trigger fish right there. Eel, and massive. I don't know what kind of grouper that is, but it's, oh, it's very big. Look at it. I know you love that too. It's oh cylinder. my gosh. Isn't that cool that it's fresh water? It's a cylinder. Yeah. Isn't that cool? Oh, look at that waterfall. So there's super cool little flow there. I'm trying to get some light on it for you, but there is a cylinder fish tank. Just tanks along this whole entire thing, but we're gonna get back there where all the magic happens. So all of these cylinders you're looking at right now are cylinders that are waiting to be pre-cut for cylindrical tanks. Yeah. So there's that many going on at once? Oh yeah. Holy moly. I mean moly. if you look around you can see the whole, all of the stock and stuff. It's yeah. So you guys are closed now obviously. Yeah. Everything's off, lights are kind of down. This acrylic is so thick. Yeah, I don't know if you know about acrylic, but this panel right here probably is close to a ton. A ton? Yeah, it's, it's <laughs> heavy. What's up? I know not to put my finger in your, your cage, that's for sure. A lot of these parrots are rescues from places that aren't fit to take care of them. And stuff like that. We we've had way more than this. We've had probably thirty. How many are how many are there now? Uh, I think there's ten. So all these parrots actually come out during the day, and uh, they sit on all these little things while everyone works. That's exactly. pretty cool. They just sit there and make noise. <laughs> this is pretty legit. So we're out here. This is where like all the artificial reef is made. Check out behind me. Look at that. Look at this. That's where it all goes down. I'm guessing that's how they make it. That's what they kind of form the coral with exactly. or something. That's so dope. The walls, you see how it's got yeah, 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 yeah. It's got like grooves in it to make it actually look like So coral. sick. Look how sick this is. It's like a, so it's got like a rock theme to it. You could put this in the rocks and it would look so realistic. What is that for? Like a lizard? Mm-hmm. Well, it's got a pump in it too, so. And they could probably be for like fish and lizards. Turtles. Turtles, yep. Little viewing panel right here. So sick. Even this one's really cool because it's like a mini version of what they do. Hey, what's hey up everybody? <laughs> so we got Wade here and he's gonna show us right. around This ATM. is a night tour. This is Wade with Tank. We got Paul here, he's blogging. So we're gonna walk around the shop. <laughs> no one's here, it's nice and quiet, finally. So we're getting some work done. Yes. So come follow us, come on. We got Brandon over there, he's doing some coral inserts. We got all the birds, we saved these birds. This is the quick tour that we already did a tour, but now we're gonna do a quick tour with, with we, Wade here. We got a little retail outlet right here. We got some of our fish we like here. We got some big eels. We got a big monster grouper. Look at the size of this moray right here. What do you feed these guys? Big shrimp, squid, a bunch of different things. If someone sticks their hand in there, they'll it's eat over. It too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But come on, we got a lot. So we get a lot of tours here every day. We probably get about five, six hundred people. We got some bobbleheads. We got some uh, sodas, some creams. Retail counter. We got one of our first cars that we made. The company went out of business, we got the car back. Those are all different acrylic pieces, so when you design a tank or a wall, we do this stuff that you don't see really. We do a lot of pools, so we do the acrylic walls, all crazy design pools, people don't realize that. We do pools, we do ponds, we do zoos, we do aquariums, and then we do crazy aquariums. You guys see the aquariums on tanked on Animal Planet. That's the cool stuff, but we can do anything you want with the acrylic. Now I saw over here those crabs. Yeah, well, the crabs are down on the right. Over here? You got an artist here, Bert. He does all the rendering. So anytime you see something on the show, you see all the celebrities. You got Antonio Brown. You got Kevin Smith. You got Dwight Howard. You got Shaquille O'Neal. You got Roman Atwood. 
Do you draw all these? <laughs> that is incredible, man. Too. Holy moly. Once you have this finished uh, color, you can take a picture. Uh, Holy like moly. Look at that. Anything Isn't that, that cool? you like. <laughs> Crazy. Oh, it's Roman Atwood. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Did you do one for him? Yeah. Because we That's already aired. Yeah. Crazy. Okay, that one aired. And uh, here, Dr. Oz. Dr. Oz. Dang, you guys are killing it. I love it. Yeah, love to see it. One. <laughs> they just keep coming. Race car driver. And you've made tanks for all these, and you just resemble yeah, the tank in a like drawing. Like I said, if it's colored, uh, they've yeah. already been aired, you know. So. That's cool. Awesome. Well, good for yeah, you. Good. Put these to the side. Yeah. Keep it neat, you know. You got red food. You got the bad Tracy Morgan. Everyone. Yeah, you got everyone. Everyone. So we also got something real cool. I designed a custom mortar unit. Most people buy a house, they put a water softener in. That's wrong. Actually, you're putting salt on bad water. I have a home purification unit. You buy this, put it in. No maintenance, 20 year warranty. This is what you want in your house to drink good water. Oh, there's literally everything here. Look at it. So dope. This is all natural. It's the best chemicals on the market. We have our own salt. And then we have actually king crab. And I saw this 41 degrees. These guys are from Russia. For Very reason. Cold water. Um, King crab. I love it. I love to see that in the tank. So dope. A lot of action going on back here. Even and at I night. Just, I, even at night. And I just wanted to pick up the camera, show Wade what I do for a living, instead of having a giant camera with a little mic on, hey. and you're on Animal Planet. So this is a little bit different, isn't it? It is, but it's not. You know what? People get to see you. They understand you. They actually feel, you know, that they're right there with you, and it's very important. It's, so it's People are going to be freaking out. If you're good at what you do, and people watch you, and they see this, and you're out and about, everyone's going to want to be with you. See you at the hotel. Wow. Welcome to Vegas. But we won't be in Vegas for long. We're actually leaving in like two hours to go to Detroit. We're gonna film some stuff with Brian Barczyk. Big shout out to Wade and the crew there for letting me film pretty much everything. But I do have today's positive comment to shout out to finish off this video and that goes to Kelly Mock. Hi Paul, I'm probably not going to get noticed by you, but I just wanted to tell you that I love your videos so much. Also, I'm so excited for this pond to be finished and it's got 165 likes. If you want to win a positive comment shout out and have your comment in one of these upcoming videos, all I gotta do, drop a positive comment in the comments and uh, that could happen. If you guys have yet to do so already, hit the subscribe button, join the family, become a Gafaro today, and then after doing so, click turn your post notifications on because you don't want to miss out on any of these videos. It's, it's wild. New ponds coming in by uh, Greg. Greg's in this room. Greg? Yeah. You ready for that palm build in December? Dude, I was born ready for palm build, man. I can't wait. Six water features in five days. That's Everyone's getting one. Everyone's getting one. Thank